Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a small swap video I did with another makeup guru, as well as a look around at my makeup collection so far. Um, a lot of people have been requesting to see um, what makeup that I have and how I organize them and keep them organized. And so I will show that to you all right now. Um, but first for the swap, I swapped with a really, really cute and the most adorable makeup guru here on YouTube. Her name is Simply Cute Rachel, and I'll provide her link below so you can check her out. And the main thing that I really um, wanted was the Inglot palette, like this. And I know that there is an Inglot store somewhere in Long Beach in California, but I live very far away and, um, and Rachel wanted to get it for me. And to tell you a little bit about Inglot, it's um, very comparable to MAC Cosmetic Eyeshadows, except it's so much cheaper. I love the packaging and um, it's what's called a freedom... Uh, choice palette where you pick out the colors that you want and you pick um, the palette that you want to put them into and um, the palette I'll show you she got me a quad palette and these are stackable so if you wanted to buy another palette you could stack them on top because they're magnetic and I just really love the packaging I got four colors. Um, I chose two and Rachel chose two other ones for me. Um, I'll find the exact numbers below, um, but for now, these are the colors. This is a champagne. This is a very um, nice bright gold. This is a, a shimmery silver, and this is a very light lilac plum and purple color. I really love the pigment of these shadows. I'll do a quick swatch. That's the champagne, and this is the gold. This is the silver, and this is the plum purple. So you can see that you just need a little bit and it comes out super, super pigmented. So I really love these shadows and um, I was really thrilled to receive it. So thank you, Rachel. She got me the lovely uh, Mex, M-E-E-X, uh, facial blush. And the color is PK102. And it looks like this. And I actually have it on my cheeks right now. And it gives a very cute, um, natural flush of baby pinks to, pinks to the cheeks. And um, yeah, it's really cute. Again, I love the packaging sketch of the girl right here. So I really like this. She also got me the Herb Day Clean Cleansing Wipe from Face Shop. It's 20 sheets. And I tried this last night and I used it to wipe off my makeup and it smelled so, so good and refreshing. Um, I really like this. Um, I. I took out all the packaging and I wish I didn't to show you how cute it was wrapped, but um, it was basically wrapped in a pink, bright pink um, paper. And she also gave me Hello Kitty candy, which I ate all of. <laughs> so um, I have three left. And they're little sour candies. And they were wrapped in here. It was super cute. Also from Face Shop, she got me a um, couple facial packs. Again, I used two of the five facial packs she sent me, but each one came in um, different kinds and for different purposes. This one is the Hyaluronic Acid um, Facial Mask. This one is the Pearl Facial Mask. And this one is the COQ10 for supple skin. So each one targets um, different areas for your face. I'm not sure if they came in one pack or if she chose individual ones, but um, yeah, they really work well and it's very, very soothing. And um, Face Shop came with a little gift. So it came with a Phytogenic Infinite Foundation and a simple Echotherapy Daily Moisturizer 
and the to uh, tonic with essential toner. And the funny thing is, I used to go to this face shop all the time when I was in New York, and I really miss it there. It's a very small face shop um, in K-Town, Manhattan's K-Town, and I really love that face shop a lot. But moving on, um, she also got me some fake lashes, and it's Korean. It's Taylor Swift. And it's very natural looking and comes in two pairs. Um, very um, natural and very pretty lashes. And she also wrote me a cute little card. And she wrote me a lot. <laughs> it comes in this really cute stationery. So thank you so much, Rachel. Um, I hope you like my package. Um, it's going to get to you very soon. And yeah, I hope you check out her channel. She's really, really adorable. Uh, one of the kindest makeup gurus that I've met. So check her out. Her link will be down below. So I'm going to be showing you now the how I organize my makeup and where I put them in and store them. I usually get all my Asian cosmetics from lilyshop.net or bbcreamboutique.com or um, my family members from Korea usually send them to me and so that's how I usually get my um, Korean cosmetics and I know a lot of you have been asking me about that so I do get most of my um, cosmetics um, sent to me from Korea from family members and um, Lily Shop and BB Cream Boutique so I'll show them to you right now so it took me a while um, how to figure out how to um, smartly um, reorganize all my makeup so it's comfortable to use and know what I have, um, especially for making tutorials and moving my makeup around. And what I came up with was this as well as this. Um, first, I got my uh, caboodle, and you can get this at your Ulta or your Target stores. I got this one at Target, and it's a simple black, kind of like a crocodile or a snake pattern textured uh, caboodle box. Um, it's not that big. I was expecting it to be bigger, but this was the last one that they had. It's not too small, it's not too big. I would say a very medium sized about $35 and you just open it up and it's really cute um, the way that they designed it and um, I don't have much in here uh, because I put so much in the other box but what I put in are basically loose um, eyeshadows that I have um, these are some Castle Dew um, I have one from Smashbox I have an extra skin food red orange jelly BB cream that I've always raved about and I like to keep an extra because this is now my holy grail BB cream. So more eyeshadows here at the bottom and pretty much it's um, what um, it's pretty much extra stuff that um, I have and I want to keep. So these are my extra Eyler Natural Light um, lashes. This one is in lengthening, number 116. And this one is in number 20, natural volume. Also have my Bavi Fat um, Whitening Magic BB Cream. Um, some <laughs> rubber hair bands. Um, Precious Mineral BB Cream from Etude House and a Guerlain um, blusher. So that's basically all I have in here because once I start putting in something that's um, bigger, it doesn't really close up. So I put anything that's more packaged um, in my little caboodle. The main um, part of my makeup is this box right here. Um, it's like a little bucket container that's so simple to carry around. Um, it has a little handle right in the middle and it's divided into two large columns. 
I got this from Ikea. What I love about this container is that I can see everything that I have right in front of me. It's easy to pull out and it's also easy to take around with me when I'm doing tutorials or when I'm going to the bathroom to apply my makeup. I could just simply take this with me. And what I put here are basically what I use on a day-to-day -day basis or what I usually pick up the most. Of course, I don't use all of this every single day, but these are more of my essential items that I use during tutorials or for every single day purposes. Um, starting with this box, um, I have some hair clips because I sleep with my um, hair clips in my bangs so that my bangs don't fall out. And I pretty much um, tie up all the eyebrow pencils into one little bundle like this so I can easily know what I'm searching for. And right here, I just have my primer, um, my Etude House concealer, uh, teardrop liner. So any um, lipstick or mascara, Leo Ellie mascara, follow me lipstick, uh, my MAC lipstick, some lip tints, um, my Holika Pole mascara, Two shavers from um, my Flamingo eyebrow shavers. So all the lipsticks, mascaras, um, liners, and eyebrow pencils I put into this little makeup bag. And um, here I have my uh, MAC Pro palette. And I still need to um, fill it up, but I only have six colors so far. Um, I have my NYX Jumbo um, eyeshadow pencils, again, in a bundle. Um, I have some drugstore shadows here on the side. Uh, my NYX Glitter Cream Palette. Also, I have some NYX uh, Mega Shine Lip Gloss in nude and pink. I have some loose pigments from NYX. The cream colored, the pink colored, and the iced mocha. I also have my MAC um, melon pigments. I always carry my two hand sanitizers. I am obsessed with these from Bath & Body Works. One is called Dancing Waters and the other one's Aqua Blossom. Always carry hand sanitizers around. I just have my Leo Ellie Blue Navy eyeshadow my Stilla Kitten Smudge Pot and I absolutely love these two um, lip tint balms from Etude House. One's in light pink and one's in uh, red. Very moisturizing lip tints. Here on the other side, um, let me take this out, I have all my uh, compact powders my Etude House Face Designing Brightener, two of my blushes from uh, Nature Republic, the Smile Pop. One is pink and one is peach. I'm also using my Leo Ellie Dollish um, Green BB Cream, as well as my Skin Food Red Orange Jelly BB Cream. And I also use my Holika Holika Face to Change BB Roller. And for foundation, this is the only foundation that I use. Um, it's the Leo Ellie 3D Skin Fix. I've used this in some of my tutorials and I love it. It gives you maximum amount of coverage. Um, I have some eyeshadow palettes that I always use. My Misha Golden One and my NYX uh, Cinnamon Blusher, and I love this. It's super pigmented, but just a little bit is enough to give you a nice orangey glow to your cheeks. I have my EOS Lip Balm that I use as a lip moisturizer. And I have my two Etude House um, Nymph Aura Volumer for the dewy skin in number one and number two. And I keep my two um, hair combs on the side. Just put this in your bangs and it keeps the hair out of your face. Oh yeah, and then my 
my two Allure Eyler um, falsies in lengthening and um, natural volume. And I'm using my natural volume right now, so it's not in here. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed everything I showed you today, um, including my swap package and the makeup collection and how I organize my makeup. Um, a new uh, K-pop inspired makeup tutorial is going to be out very soon, so I hope you watch out for that. Um, I hope you enjoyed everything, thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to you soon, bye bye!